guys hacker kid here and in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a snake game so basically this uh, purple dot kind of thing is our snake and when you eat the bread then your snake will basically grow and from the arrow keys you can make it go up and down but you have to press it only once listen to my keyboard once 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 okay so now we are going to make this first we'll open a new project we'll first make our dot which is our snake we need no outline for this because then we have to even clone this and we'll take our bread first we'll name it snake snake and <coughs> then we'll make a variable which is our direction variable so i will name it just dir dir so i'll go to events i'll grab this set dir to um, let's say right right we'll duplicate this again again so we we'll have four directions left up and right left up down t o w n okay <coughs> now we are going to do a big code when flag clicked forever if d i r equal to right wait first i'll name these right left down and up so if dir equals right then obviously we have to change y by 10 Okay, not y by ten. X. X. Five. We'll duplicate this quickly. Left. Minus five. And duplicate this. in y by 10 and up and okay five now so let's see now if our snake moves Okay, I made two ups. Uh, 
now I have to name this down. Now does it work? Okay, so basically we want our snake to eat this bread and the bread should appear on the other side of the screen. And we have to even make some clones of the snake. Create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, wait. Point one second. I'll quickly make a variable. I'll name it time. I don't need to show these on the screen. So time. Then delete this clone. So basically if you hide this clone then it won't work quite well and your system can be crashed because lots and lots of clones would be everywhere. So I would just delete this clone. <coughs> now we come to the braid. When flag keep leg <coughs> forever wait first i need to take two of these our our screen is our x is uh, 240 to minus 240 and our y coordinates are i mean y of our screen is 140 to minus 140 so i will click uh, 140 to minus 140 minus 140 then 240 minus 240 and then we'll take our go to y and x okay so that works now we'll just quickly duplicate this put it over here let's drag this to the top <coughs> and i'll zoom in a bit yep so now we have this and we need an if quickly if touching snake then go to pick random anything and change time by point 0.1 second let's say so let's see See our snake is actually getting bigger. Okay, so our snake works. Now we just have to do one thing. <coughs> Set time to point 0.1 second. When flag is clicked, obviously we need to set time to point 0.1 second. And then we need to even add score. I know in the last one I didn't add. I forgot to add that. So in this one I have added. Score. Change. Score by one. Let's see if we can put any sound of coin or something. Yep, let's take this coin sound and <coughs> start sound coin right over here. Okay. 
in the last one i made it 10 so it was very hard to play this so if you want this to make it hard then you can just set if you want this to be hard you can just go here and set change x by 10 and everything is 10 so i'll show you what happens then it will basically be very hard to play this so 10 yep so the snake will move very very fast like this you have to move it very very fast or you will miss the bread so now let me just quickly save this save to your computer save yep so guys that was it for today's video don't forget to like and subscribe down below in the description and i'll see if i can make any of the common games in youtube so bye